Welcome to the streaming age, a brave new era of original television that isn't concerned with advertisers or commercial breaks. Who killed my family? Your family? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 superheroes who deserve the Netflix treatment. For this list, we're looking at Marvel superheroes who would benefit the most from a Netflix adaptation, joining the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe in a small screen capacity, alongside the likes of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. Just this once, we're not going to worry who the rights belong to, because as Spider-Man recently proved, anything is possible. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude! Characters who've already had their own movie or TV shows are still eligible, so long as there's room to argue that the current Netflix style can do it better. The only characters not being considered are those currently getting their own steady stream of films made by another studio, such as X-Men or Marvel characters already well-established essential film characters like Black Widow, Hawkeye, etc. We're still friends, right? Depends on how hard you hit me. Number 10, Angela. I don't think so. <laughs> Nope, she isn't the new female Thor, she's Thor's lesser-known sister. Created by Neil Gaiman and Todd McFarlane, she first appeared in Spawn in 1993, but didn't make her Marvel Comics debut until 2013. Although of Asgardian descent, she's kind of BFFs with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which provides a rare opportunity to bridge the gap between the Avengers and their spacefaring characters. Lady Sif and Volstagg already opened the door by visiting the Collector at the end of Thor The Dark World. But a well-written Angela series could really help build a sense of unity, further bridging the cosmic divide. A mix of sci-fi and high fantasy, it would be all kinds of epic. You will pay the price for striking my brother! No! <laughs> Number 9, Miles Morales. Whoa, 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 I'm not you. You're dead, which makes me dead. No way, neither of us could be dead. When Ultimate Peter Parker met his tragic end, newcomer Miles Morales met serious resistance. But following his 2011 debut, he quickly proved himself to be much more than a publicity stunt. He's a well-developed character that Marvel recently integrated into its main universe. With Spider-Man recently sharing the screen with Iron Man and company in Captain America Civil War, why not let Netflix introduce wider audiences to Miles Morales? Then he could be brought into the main universe just like he was in the comic books, and protect New York alongside Daredevil. Okay, Spidey, do what I do! Number 8, Black Cat. I knew you'd come, Spider. Who are you? Just a stray black cat. Sony has finally come to their senses and allowed Spidey to make the much-needed move to the MCU in order to join his fellow Avengers in a successful franchise. With that in mind, it's high time that the Web Slinger's rich cast of characters get the attention they so rightly deserve. I owe it to the world to give something back. Like you, I want to do good things with it. A number of characters could fill the role, but in spirit of keeping each Netflix series similar but distinct, we humbly submit Black Cat for your consideration. Why? Well, she's based in NYC, opening the door to a wonderful crossover with the Defenders or, in the perfect dream world, Miles Morales. But also, her cat burglar tendencies would make for a great heist-themed series, distinguishing it from the current lineup of Marvel Netflix titles. I hate to be a backseat driver, but this is a one-way street. Relax, I'm a New Yorker. Number 7, She-Hulk. You're the best, Jen. Really? Of course. You're a walking green screen. I can erase you no problem and pop in our star. Hooray for Hollywood. Marvel has a knack for lawyer by day, superhero by night type characters. Admittedly, this one just seems like too good of a fit to pass up. Jennifer Walters has some of the Hulk's gamma radiation in her blood after having required an emergency blood transfusion from her cousin, Bruce Banner. Don't worry, you couldn't be in better Hulk hands. Now buckle up and watch a pro at work. As a result, it only gives her a fraction of his strength in her She-Hulk form, but it comes with the added bonus of letting her keep her self-control, personality, and intellect. Apart from helping cultivate more connections between Marvel's Netflix content and the feature films through family ties, her job as a high-profile lawyer sets her up perfectly to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matt Murdock in the courtroom. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Booyah! Oh, you should put him on a oh, leash! Me. Number six, Cloak and Dagger. Dark one, take him! Here's one classic aspect of comic books that Marvel really has yet to do justice on screen, the crime-fighting duo. Cloak and Dagger make excellent candidates. And apparently ABC Family, recently rebranded Freedom, agrees, as they've greenlit an adaptation. 
But here's the thing. ABC doesn't really do Marvel properties justice like Netflix does. Now, I don't give a bag of dicks what kinky shit you're into. Just be into it quietly. <sighs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has steadily improved, but the Marvel shows coming to Netflix manage to be daring and treat the source material with reverence, without worrying about age-appropriate content or the interests of their advertisers. This couple's volatile tale of love, drug addiction, and morally flexible crime-fighting is a perfect fit for television. But seeing this incredible duo get adapted in a way that plays it safe would be a travesty. We ought to stay. Spidey helped us. But he told us not to trust anyone. Who told you not to trust anyone? Okay, we'll help. Number five, Lady Sif. If Netflix told fans that they could only have one Asgardian on their roster of superheroes, it would come down to Angela or Lady Sif. When the points are tallied, Sif definitely takes it though. The tiebreaker is Jamie Alexander. She was a clear standout amongst the Asgardians in both Thor films, translating the character from comic book to silver screen in a way that few fans could fault. When you couple her interpretation of Sif with her starring role as the captivating Jane Doe on Blindspot, she proves that she has acting chops to take Sif from supporting cast to the title character of her own Netflix series. You're welcome. Number four, Moon Knight. Daredevil was gritty, but Jessica Jones really showed just how edgy Marvel was willing to get. Children should be seen and not heard. Or better still, not seen and not heard. Sexual assault, trauma, revenge fantasies, Jessica Jones proved itself to be a fearless series with one of the best female leads in recent television. So why stop there? Let's go further into Marvel's dark side. Moon Knight is the avatar of the Egyptian god of vengeance, Khonshu. Sounds pretty silly, right? But it's technically not. He's driven to fight crime by a thirst for vengeance, and his punishments are often brutally violent. So kind of like Batman gone truly mad, his combination of ruthlessness and questionable sanity could make for a Netflix series that is equal parts superhero show and psychological thriller. Number three, Nova. Marvel films are all about hinting at the larger universe. I mean, how big of a tease was it to have the Nova Corps in a film without giving fans arguably their most famous member, Nova? Despite rumors that Harley Keener, the kid in Iron Man 3, would become the new Nova, nothing became of that. But it's still not too late. Nova Corps has already been established, so just give Nova his own Netflix series, expanding the cosmic aspect of the MCU in the process. Considering what a huge success Guardians of the Galaxy proved to be, it's pretty much a guaranteed hit. This is Denarian Sal of the Nova Corps. For the record, I advised against trusting you here. They got my dick message! Prove me wrong. Number two, Blade. <laughs> sure, he already got his shot at the big screen three times, and a very short-lived series on Spike. But that was all before the MCU. Some may feel that Blade has received more than his fair share of chances over the years, but try to think of it this way. Blade has paid his dues, putting in the hard work long before the genre really hit its stride. You want me to hunt them for you? Netflix finally brought redemption to the Punisher. We're sure it could do the same with a series that's much more fondly remembered by audiences. It's fake. This half-vampire, half-human has been around since the 1970s with plenty of great stories to adapt. Now that Twilight is finally in our cultural rearview mirror, Netflix and Marvel can give us a vampire to be proud of. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, the Fantastic Four. The other survivors of the Baxter incident all exhibited unique physical conditions. If there were a celebrity rehab show for comic book properties, Fantastic Four would feature prominently. Had a little relapse, huh? Every time someone picks them up and promises them redemption, they just end up burying the bar a little deeper. 
the first film was a B-movie nightmare that was really never released. No wonder they don't want the outside world to have contact with us. Then we got two, let's be honest, abysmal films starring Jessica Alba and the pre-MCU Chris Evans. Care to join me? Josh Trank filled fans with hope, only to dash them against the rocks repeatedly, mercilessly, and with abandon. Admittedly, Fantastic Four is a tough nut to crack. Their powers seem dated, as is their aesthetic, but Marvel's first family deserves better. Dial back the effects and spectacle, make it about science and family, and maybe we can finally get a Fantastic Four that Marvel fans deserve. This is all my fault. That we can agree on. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Oh. Yeah. Of all the Marvel characters out there, which do you want to see get their own Netflix series? We're not monsters. We're heroes! For more streaming-friendly top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's fantastic. <laughs>